Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, and that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And I'm back to do a book review for Children of the Black by W.J. Long III, and this is a very shiny cover, so I'm gonna put the book down, also because it's heavy, and put up the picture. This is one of our self-published science fiction contest books. One of the semi-finalists that my team has been given to read. I decided to start with the biggest one that I hadn't already read. So, And this is, I would say, space opera adjacent because the events of it really, you, you can feel that there is going to be a universal effect to it. But otherwise it's really more like an urban sci-fi set in a universe far away where humans have been stolen by an alien that is now extinct and they're trying to live their life. At the very beginning of the book these two sides have been warring for a long long time have finally decided to come to a peace agreement and a mercenary ship has been given the task to go pick up some information for a research vessel for the Sabian side. And this mercenary group called the Taskmasters works for the Beta system. And so here in this time, we meet all three of our main points of views, but we really get to know two of them. And so the first two we meet is Claude and Miranda. And they're both mercenaries who volunteer to go to the research station to get this research. While there, they get separated, but have similar things happen to them. Both of them get infected with an alien species. Because they were separated, their ending outcome is not the same. Miranda gets back to the ship, Claude does not, and Claude is left for dead. And then Miranda is given to this government group who does experiments on her and she goes dark. She goes real dark. And then Claude ends up meeting the third POV Vision, who's just a little child, and the, this child helps him escape this dying space station. And they end up getting out and settling on Minerva Prime in a city and creating a life for themselves. So this book is where Miranda is chasing their old commander to Minerva Prime in order to kill him. She doesn't know Claude's there. Bertram, the commander, doesn't know Claude's there either because when he got safe, he just didn't contact them again. He was like, I'm done. And Bertram is there to meet up with a scientist from that space station who has the research information, all of it, and things get complicated. So like I said, we have Claude and Miranda who both have an alien species living in their body. And then we have Vision who is a little blind girl who has psionic powers. And Claude and Vision at the beginning of this, Claude is trying to help Vision find her family or find out any information about her family from that from the Firaxis station. But they've kind of developed a father-daughter relationship, but they don't label it because Claude keeps thinking, we'll find her family and then she'll leave. She'll be gone. At the same time, Claude's girlfriend, Zara, is a scientist who has helped create a device for vision so that she can see the world around her to navigate better. And this device also helps rein in the psionic powers that this child doesn't know much of what to do. And so Vision's psionic powers are growing. Claude is at a loss of what to do. He can't find any information about her family. And he has just recently had a huge fight with his girlfriend. And so he's trying to not contact her as much until Vision needs help. And then he for Vision, he will go back to Zara. So that's kind of the setup of this book. 
Claude also has a, an investigation business that gets tied into all of this as well. Long is really good at writing complicated, messy lives. And it doesn't have to mean that they are hot messes, though Miranda definitely is a hot mess. He's just very good at showing the contradictions and the balancing of differing values. For example, Claude doesn't want to harm anyone, but Vision and Zara come first in his life. So he's going to prioritize them being safe over everyone else. And that's not much of a spoiler because it's part of the reason why he fought with Zara in the first place. You, you, you find out this conflict pretty early. Long has also introduced a very interesting world of this city, the way it's built and then the atmosphere around it. It's kind of like on a desolate world, but one where ion energy is harvested to then power other things in the universe. So it has a thriving society. However, there are some world building holes or at least questions left unanswered for me. We meet some creatures called derelicts who were once human and there's no explanation of how they became what monsters they are. Fair enough, that's not the purpose of this book. And, it, you know, Claude even states that he's done research and hasn't been able to find out the reason. It, so it's plausible that they don't know. But I, as a reader, want to know. And shoot, the structural point of view of this of the story means that you, as a reader, know what's in everyone's head, which does lead to some head-hopping which threw me at the beginning a little bit until I got used to the rhythm. Like I said, this is a structural POV thing. <laughs> in fact, at one point we are following uh, one soldier's point of view and he goes, this woman just stands up and stands against Miranda. And what is she thinking? In the very next paragraph, you find out what she's thinking. <laughs> and I'm just like, yep, that's definite head hopping right there. <laughs> it's not, as off-putting as it might sound. Editor here, so it's just part of the structural POV. The reader is supposed to know more than the characters. So normally I have a criticism for books that are long. They usually feel like they're more than one book combined, but in this one, this book earns its 600 pages because I got to the halfway point and it was very clear that this was the halfway point. The story was nowhere near a stopping point that would be satisfying if you were to end the book at this moment. The length of the book is well matched with the pacing of the story. Sorry if you're hearing the beeping, I can't do anything about the trucks. Overall, I really love this book and I am very excited to read book two. If you have read this book, I would love to know what you think. Let's talk about it more. Thank you and have a great day.